Hello world, it's the Surfing Scratcher here bringing you another video connecting the world of maths with the world of Scratch. If you haven't already, check the description below for previous videos as this one is part of a series. In this video, we're going to be exploring connecting our expanded notation of all the variables to the score in the top left hand corner over there uh, of our space value game. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, so I've got our space value project open here and I've completed the hundreds and the thousands code as well. So if I just give this green flag a click, a press, and then I click all our objects here, you can see our scores are updating as they should be, which is just what we want it to be doing. Okay, I hope you went along and did that. Uh, if you haven't, maybe pause the video and probably copy down what we've done here. I've done that all in our place value heading here. The next thing that we need to do is connect our place value headings here, our variables, and actually combine them. So we've got our score one up here. So how are we gonna do that? Well, let's go across to our planner, and I've got a new planner up here, and as you can see, um, I've got our stage, and our stage has different um, numbers filled in for each place value. I've got 1,000 in my thousands, I've got 200 here, uh, 10 for my tens and two units, okay? Now we know our expanded notation, is if we were to add all these together, we would get one combined whole number. So if we were to do that, we would get 1,000, we would get 212, okay? One, two, one, two, there you go. And you can probably spot, it's taking the first number of each of those place values, okay? 1,212. So we actually want that number to go up here. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we've got all of our variables here and we know that we actually just want to add them together. So we can do that in our Scratch project and I'm going to show you how. So let's go back across to our project to implement our plan. All right, so we're currently in our place value sprite. Where we're going to be doing this is we've got a bit of interesting code on our stage here. Now I like to put code in the stage that doesn't really have a visual element related to it. Um, our score lives kind of on its own. Uh, it doesn't have a visual element attached to it. It's the same thing for our uh, variables here. Uh, and you could have put all this code in the stage as well. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is placing our code on the stage backdrop, okay? Now I encourage you to have a browse around to see what all this code is doing. But we're gonna be focusing on a block that's been created for us called update score. This is gonna be a custom block, okay? Now, Let's just go through this to see what it does. So when the green flag is pressed, okay, when this green flag is pressed, we're gonna set the score to zero. So this is score here. We're gonna set the units to zero. We're gonna set the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and the ten thousands to zero as well. There's no ten thousands that you can see, but the variable exists. Uh, we've also got a delay here. We won't worry too much about that one right now. And after we've set all that, we've got this uh, control statement here, this forever loop, and that means it will do something if you allow it to, forever, like forever, ever. Um, and what that will do, it's going to be calling this, uh, this block here, update score forever. So it'll like call update score, and then it'll do it again. It'll just like do it all the time. So the reason we're gonna be using this is whenever there is a change to our variables, it will immediately update our score. Okay, so that is gonna be our plan that we're going to implement right now. So you'll see, as soon as I click this green flag, all of these values will be wiped. Here we go. Boom. Okay, they're all to zero, which is what you would expect it. Now it's calling update score, but we've got nothing to update at the moment because there's nothing inside of it. So let's go and do that. We know with our plan, if we were to take all of these variables and we were to add them together, then we would get this number here, one, two, one, two. So let's actually go ahead and do that. What we need to do is we want to set our score to a particular number. So we're gonna go across to our variables and we're going to be grabbing the set block. So let's go and set our score, okay? Now at the moment, it's just gonna set score to zero all the time. So if I press this, green flag, it's gonna set score. If I update this to the number one, it will always set score to number one. If I put it to any number possible, it will just do update it to that number. That's not what we want. We want to remember add all these numbers together, okay? All of our thousands to our hundreds to our tens to our units. Where we do that 
is we need to go back into our operators. Whenever we want to do some uh, action or some work between like numbers, like math calculations, uh, sometimes with words when we want to combine them together, you're going to be getting pretty comfortable with this operator section because there's lots of numbery stuff that we're going to be exploring here. The one that we're interested in is adding things together. So we are going to be adding our thousands and our hundreds together. To begin. Or you could start with the units. It's really up to you. It actually doesn't matter the order that you add these in. So I'm going to go across and get my thousands variable. And then I'm going to go across and get my hundreds variable. Now, I, exp I encourage you to play around with this and play around with the order and see if it changes because for some operations it makes a difference, for others it doesn't. Okay, So it's really cool to just go around and play with it. Now I want to go ahead and add my hundreds as well and I'll pop that in there, but then it kicks out my thousands so, and then it kicks it out again. So that's not really working. I need to do something. Sorry, I've already got my hundreds there. I need to add in my tens. <laughs> um, I can't do that. So what do I do? Well, I'm just going to go ahead and grab another operator block, this addition one. I'm going to stick that one at the front like that. And you know what? I'm actually going to stick it here so it's a bit easier to see. And then I can put my tens in at the front. Cool. Now, I'm going to go get my units because I also need to add my units. Now let's put my units in there and uh oh, same deal. Same dealio. So what we need to do is go ahead and go grab our another, and this is potentially going to be our final one depending on where you want to stop this. We're going to chuck that big block there uh, in the second part and then we're going to start by adding it. So units, tens, hundreds, thousands. Cool. So. At the moment, that's still not going to work because this block is sitting outside of our score. So we're not setting anything, but now let's stick it inside of there. Now, as soon as I press the green flag, it'll be calling it, but we haven't hit anything yet. So if I press one of these objects, we'll see it update and then our score update too. So, whoops, I missed that one. There is 1,000 and look, boom, 1,000 straight away. Let's add a couple of units in there. I missed one and there's 100. So I've got 1,101, let's go 1,002 one and I need a 10 to get that same number that we had. Let's wait for a planet. There it is. Cool. All right, let's stop our game. We've got one, two, one, two, one thousand, two hundreds, one ten and two units. And that is exactly what we had in our plan as well. So now our game is fully functioning and we have just completed space value. And now you can go off and play it at home. You've got a version uh, to play with friends, family, show it off to your uncles and aunts or whoever you want. That's it for this video and that's a wrap for our series on space value. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to know when the next series is released or the next video, hit that subscribe button. Drop me a comment below to let me know how I can make these videos and these projects awesome for you. But until then, I'm off to find Wave. Take it easy.